بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Key points and formulas in critical care medicine Alexandria ICU POC Key points and formulas in critical care medicine How much to give sodium bicarbonate in cases of metabolic acidosis? This is the formula. Total bicarbonate deficit equals bicarbonate volume of distribution multiplied by the base deficit multiplied by the body weight. Bicarbonate volume of distribution. Sure, the, this, the volume of distribution of bicarbonate in the body is the extracellular compartment, which is 20% of the total body weight. But effective volume of distribution of bicarbonate varies with the bicarbonate concentrations. Greater degree of metabolic acidosis is associated with greater increase in the bicarbonate volume of distribution. And this means we need a larger amount of bicarbonate to be administered to the patient. That's why we use this formula, 0.4 plus 2.6 over the measured, measured bicarbonate. Base excess or base deficit. Base excess specifies the number of milli equivalent of acid or base that are needed to titrate one liter of blood to be H7.4 at uh, 37 degrees centigrade while the pressure, pressure of carbon dioxide is held constant at 40 millimeter mercury. This means that the basic excess of base deficits, the pH itself, pH is the net result of two things, carbon dioxide and bicarbonate. If we return the both carbon dioxide to the norm of 40, so the change in the pH will be due to bicarbonate, either excess or deficit. Measurements of the base uh, excess or the base deficits, we have two, 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 two measurements. The first one, when the pH is normal, or the partial pressure of carbon dioxide of normal, so the base excess will be calculated like that. Actual, or the measured bicarbonate, minus the standard bicarbonate. Look at this example. This is the pH 7.35, which is normal, bicarbonate is 14, and carbon dioxide is 28. In this case, the base excess will be, this is a measured bicarbonate minus the standard so the basic says here it is the basic deficit minus 10. The second way of cal calculation of basic excess or base deficit if the pH is abnormal and carbon dioxide is abnormal so in this case we have to make our correction. The first thing is to retain the partial pressure of carbon dioxide to be normal to 40. In this example, this means that will increase the carbon dioxide from 28 to 40. So they will be increased by 12 millimeter mercury. We have the basic rule for the change in the partial pressure of carbon dioxide 10 millimeter mercury will be associated with change in the pH 0.08. What is the effect of change of 12 millimeter mercury? This will make some change in the pH 0.096. This is, a, this is an accumulation of carbon dioxide, so this means it will be some sort of acidosis. The pH of the normal here in this case is 7.24. So in this case, uh, this pH will drop to 7.14. This 7.14 is a uh, net result of the metabolic of the bicarbonate change only because here in this case this is a we return it back with the carbon dioxide to 40 so the BH here change in this case will be due to bicarbonate this is away from the normal by how much this is a normal 7.4 minus 7.14 so this is a 0.26 this is a change this is change in the pH by this value is due to bicarbonate loss. 
The rule is that 10 milligrams of sodium bicarbonate will be associated with the change in the pH 0.15. What about the effect of uh, this change in, uh, in the pH 0.26? How much bicarbonate? Simple formula. So this is the, we need 17 milliequivalent per liter. This is the base deficit. From the previous uh, uh, case, the bicarbonate of the patient was seven, the base deficit uh, was 17, and the body weight of the patient was uh, 70. So we can calculate the total bicarbonate deficit, which equals uh, bicarbonate uh, volume of distribution multiplied by the base deficit multiplied by the body weight. So the total bicarbonate deficit in this case will be 0.4 plus 2.6 over the bicarbonate, which is 7, multiplied by the body weight, which is 17, uh, 70, multiplied by the base deficit, uh, which is 17. So the total will be 900 ml sodium bicarbonate. This is the total bicarbonate deficit. This is the total bicarbonate deficit, which is 900 ml. How to administer to the patient? It is recommended that 50% of the total deficit which is 450 ml to be given over three to four hours and the remainder 450 ml to be replaced or given over eight hours to 24 hours thank you